Notice is hereby given the regular meeting of the Parks and Recreation Board of the City of Navasota to be held today, uh, <clears throat> May 25th at 6 p.m. at the Council Chambers, located on the first floor of the uh, Navasota City Hall at 200 East McAlpine, Navasota, Texas. Uh, the first item of business is invocation. Grant, do you want us to give us the invocation, please? Please join me in pledge allegiance to the flag and then to the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. At this time, we'll take remarks from visitors. I think uh, yes. we have uh, one person wants to speak. Come on up. This is the uh, August Horse Park. This is the sign that's there. And this is strictly my opinion. That's all it is. To me, with all the traffic coming in, uh, 105, this is the first thing people see when they when they come into the city. The sign is really, it's kind of a disgrace, really. It shouldn't even say Grimes County, Navasota, Annex. I mean, that's an address to a building. Nothing says August Horse Park at all. If you flip it over, to me personally, I think it should say Navasota, you know, to, to showcase this park, because the park is amazing. Uh, August Horse Park with an arrow, Sports Complex with an arrow, Disc Golf with an arrow, and Dog Park with an arrow. Uh, to me, people driving into town would see that, and it would just give them a good feeling. You know, they would see what what has to offer there. Um, the other thing is the dog park. I've been trying to get that dog park in for over a, way over a year. Um, it's always been run around here, run around there. It should take about two weeks to get that park in. Uh, that's ordering all the signs, the contractor coming in, and I've met nothing but just stonewalling and excuses, and I don't know if people are lazy or incompetent, but that's what it seems to me. Um, it, right now, the latest thing I'm getting is um, city is saying that they want to get three bids, but the bid is under $50,000, so it only required, that doesn't require three bids, so... Just take that for what it's worth. I wish the parks, the um, board would get involved and start pushing this. And I have to say, Mr. Weeks has been really nice to me and he's answered all my questions. I mean, no disrespect to him whatsoever. But this is a bunch of, you know what, it needs, something needs to be done about this because that is a, something people will use every day and it would showcase that park. <coughs> the last thing, and I'll get out of your hair, <laughs> is... BJ is going to talk about the signs for the disc golf course. I cannot emphasize how important this is. Um, I'm not going to steal any of his thunder, but the money is there. It would attract um, so much, so many people there. We need to finish that disc golf course. BJ is a professional disc golfer. He knows his stuff, man. If we follow him, we'll get a big crowd coming in to Navasota. Thanks, guys. I appreciate your time. Thank you, Dave. Uh, next item on your agenda is discussion of possible action appointing the chairman. 
vice chairman and secretary for the Parks and Recreation Board. This time I'll turn it over to Eric because I think we received an email uh, when, with one of the board members that made a recommendation. Hello, Mr. Ethan wanted to be uh, vice chairman. He wasn't able to make it in today, but he said he would uh, try to call in, but I don't think we have that option anymore, right? No, we do not. So at this time, board, you, you have um, uh, a recommendation. You can make a, a motion of who you want to designate as chairman, vice chairman, and secretary all at one, or if you want to do it, it's, it's your leisure how you want to do it, if you want to do it individually and then vote on it individually or all three of them as a sweep or whatever, ever how you want to do it, it's your preview. Uh, I would like to throw my hat in the ring as chairman. If that's, if we have any other people that want to do that, then we have to vote on that. And I'm not voted in as a chairman, I would like to throw my hat in the ring as vice chairman. Do we have any other nominations for chairman? Do we have any other nominations for vice chairman? To continue to be secretary. Does anybody Please. else want to be secretary? Okay, then I'll be secretary. Or throw my vote in there. We have any other nominations for anything? We okay. vote. So um, I, I take that as a motion from B.J. Moody that he be nominated as chairman. Um, and Nancy as secretary, um, vice chair, Ethan. Ethan. Do I have a second? Second. Second from Mr. Colbert. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any nays? Motion to approve the uh, B.J. Moody as chairman. Nancy, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce your last name. Vedato. Vedato as secretary and Ethan. I'm looking. Eric. Eric. Ethan. Last last, last name. name. <laughs> Ethan as as vice chairman. Mr. Ethan. Mr. Ethan. I wouldn't know how to pronounce it. It's more suck. All right. The uh, next item on the agenda is presentation, discussion, possible action on the development of the dog part at August Horse. Uh, so real briefly, uh, before I let staff get into it, uh, just want to, because we do have some members, new members on the board, uh, so just kind of remind you about, uh, first of all, what the, the Parks and Rec um, Board, what your responsibilities are. Uh, uh, the Parks and Recreation Committee is an advisory body to the City Council. So unlike the library, library, they're advisory to me. Y'all are advisory to the council. And so uh, those are, you're going to make uh, recommendations, any suggestions, any concerns, matters of parks and recreation, uh, facilities in Navasota, you want to uh, somehow convey your wishes to the council. Council, then staff will get together with council, put it on an agenda and have uh, some discussion about it and they would move those items forward. Uh, I came here, uh, I'm new city manager, Jason Weeks, uh, came here in January when I got here, uh, hit the ground running, knew there was a lot of projects out there. Um, uh, I, I, I was in the first couple of weeks I met with, David, uh, with Mr. Core about the uh, dog park and uh, 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 the disc golf course signs as well. At that time, we really didn't have a parks board that had been up and going. Uh, so me being new here, I wanted to come to the parks board. I understand y'all approved it originally, uh, but there's other things that I want to make sure that you're aware of that council's directions of where they want parks and rec to go. And also want to have some conversations about that and to make sure that you're okay with the design layout and everything. So even though you approved it, I think that it's, it, you're an advisory board to the council, and I don't want to, uh, to dismiss what your responsibilities are and go out and do something and it's like, hey, we weren't told what we're, you, so we just want to come to you and say, hey, we're, we want to do this, y'all approve it, and then we go forward. We don't want you to be a board that is just approving stuff. We want some feedback and get some input, and so 
uh, we started trying to put together uh, a full board. I think uh, council just approved a couple of uh, weeks ago uh, filling uh, some vacancies. So I know Mr. Colbert's one of the, the new new members, and I can't remember who the other one was. Ethan. Ethan. Uh, and so uh, now we have a full board. So it's like, hey, uh, group, I want y'all to be able to to get together, I'd like for uh, to do a presentation. And so here's where we are today. Uh, kind of give you some uh, explanations about some things. I, I don't like to use excuses, but uh, it is true. Uh, under 50,000, state law says we could do whatever. However, our, we have city purchasing policies. Our city purchasing policies say that you have to have three quotes when anything is over $3,000 and those have to be written quotes. And so uh, we appreciate the, the legwork that uh, ex-board members and board members do and the public does for us, that's great, uh, but we had to go and get other quotes. I will tell you that staff's been swamped with other projects, uh, and so council has uh, gave us the direction that we've not really had a specified person to do parks and recreation programming. Now, Brandy, you heard this last night, so you'll hear it repeat again. So uh, coming up in next year's budget, we are going to program in for the budget for council to, to look at is a designated person to be at the Navasota Center, and that person would handle programming throughout the entire year, uh, specifically a lot in the summer, give kids something to do, whether it's camps or, or um, you know, leagues or whatever. And so tonight, as we go through some of these uh, discussions, you're going to see some of those latest and greatest things that's coming about. And one of the things is, is about trying to move forward with the dog park. So um, you have in your packet uh, a couple of items here. Uh, the first uh, photo you have is back uh, prior to me coming and, and when it came to y'all was an initial, uh, which you, if, you, if you see on the, the screen behind you is, if you're familiar with August Horse uh, Veterans Memorial Drive there, that's the old, um, a golf pro shop there uh, where the golf course used to be uh, the the board approved where they're circling right there originally that area right in there was where the dog park was going to go uh, after further looking at we actually had a fence person come out there and look at it there's some really nice trees in there we hated to be able to drive a bunch of uh, metal poles in there and possibly uh, killing the roots and causing some damage to those trees, then we we moved it further west. So it's we're going to kind of come out from where the building is right there, where he's circling now. In your packet, it's where the red line is. Uh, so if you're familiar with dog parks, uh, you have to have generally you have two separate areas. You got small dogs and large dogs. You really don't want a German Shepherd in there with the Chihuahua. Uh, even though they might get along great, uh, it's just two different, two different, uh, two different breeds there. So we have a divider fence between them. Be similar on each side where we're talking about putting a picnic table in there. Uh, we'll have a uh, a waste station out there. There's going to be some side gates uh, here in the drawing. We put them on the sides, whether it be on the sides or in the back. We've got to have an eight foot entrance bill to get the mowers in there to mow. Uh, and then at the very beginning, you have kind of a gated area you come in through there. On the next uh, page, you kind of you kind of get a, a diagram of what it's going to look like. Uh, we provided some um, some pet signage, uh, you know, green for the small dog area, yeah, the yellow one there for the large dog area. Some options for the dog park rules: whether you want them in black, you want them in red. Kind of want some feedback from y'all of what, what you think would look better out there and then also we provided some uh, pet waste station uh, information about what the cost is for the pet waste station uh, we provided some information about the picnic uh, tables again uh, one for each side and then we got our three cost estimates related to the fencing uh, and those ranged uh, in, in different amounts uh, NBC management provided an additional option they, they put in there um, other than a galvanized fence they added some more options in there but we want to make sure that you had apples to apples comparison um, at this time I want to turn over to Eric and see if there's anything I miss or anything he would like to add 
because I do want to talk about the total cost. So on the sheet after the NBC, it's the layout he provided. Um, so he, he mentioned kind of like a like a pentagon shape for the dog park, and that's what they, I guess, recommend, uh, leaving outside the trees. Um, after that sheet, you see all three quotes. Uh, JW Fence actually provided a option A and option B. One was a non-coated chain link, and the other one was a co uh, the black powder coated chain link. Um, NBC also provided two options, but Buddy Micklitz only provided one option. So we were we were just wanting to see if you'll um, approve on the location of the dog park and what all would be in each section. I would say. If I can elaborate a little more on the decision of why to move it, um, yes, the trees were part of it, but it was also um, that ground is really really hard out there, and moving it closer to that building with that watering station going in, we'll have to pull water from probably around that existing building and trying to go through all those routes and everything made it a much uh, better decision, I feel. Um, also with the dogs urinating on trees, it's, they're going to kill all those trees. And there, the, the whole discussion about having the trees there to begin with when we originally did this was for the shade. But the sun's going to move. I mean, it's going to be shaded there either way. Um, they were also talking about encompassing that, that rock um, table that was out there. That, that was, I don't think that's a very good idea either. That's going to end up getting destroyed. That thing's been there forever. So that was, that, all those decisions, um, well, not really decisions, discussion um, fell into place. I met with uh, Eric and Dominic out there and the fence uh, builder, and that's kind of where that ideas came from. Um, also, this JW fencing with the coded chain is actually cheaper than the original only quote we had gotten from the, I don't remember the, the company's name, the guy that we met with, but that's like, the same, same guy, okay. Uh, that may be cheaper because of the the uh, design change. There's maybe less fencing, but square footage wise, it seems to be not a whole lot different. Galvanized, it was the 9,000, cost 9,300, and then the 12,000 would be the black powder. The 14, 127, 80. Yes, yeah. I'd make a motion that we would go with the, the coded. It's going to last a lot longer. It's going to look a lot nicer. And like I said, it's actually cheaper than the original quote of 16 and some change. I don't remember. It's been over a year. Like I said. <coughs> BJ, would y'all prefer that that um kind of home plate look that NBC came up with to avoid the trees? I, I, just for, yeah, for ease of uh, putting it in, ease of maintenance and not tearing up the trees, that it does a, a good idea, in my opinion. So uh, we have a motion on the table uh, to accept JW Fence option B, which is the black power coated chain link at 14,127,800 dollars with the design that uh, NBC provided with the angling. Is that what I'm... Yeah. Sure. Instead of okay. a rectangle, it would be uh, five-sided. Okay. Do I have a second? Going from a four foot to a so six foot tall. Right. Like, I mean, do you really think that 
I wouldn't. I wouldn't think so. Okay. I, I don't feel. I feel like. Okay. Well, I'll. I'll second that. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Any nays? Approved. All right. Thank you all. Staff will get working on that as soon as possible. Um, hopefully we can uh, get something done pretty quick out there uh, for summer and um, just FYI, so Bobby Ulrich is our communication marketing person, new person, so she'll be able to push something out there once we get it up and going and get some uh, news out to our residents about it. And we'll also get with uh, our local uh, radio station and uh, the examiner and get something out there as well. Uh, the next item we have on the agenda, yes, sir. Do we need to signage? Oh, oh signage. Red or black? I do have a quick question for the um, way station. I wasn't sure if to add one in each inside of each section or have just one station outside of the dog park. I, I would put it in that first area where you split the same place where the watering station is going. Yeah, yeah, right in the middle there. Yeah. Any particular red or black signage wording? Yeah, I, I have red. no yeah, I don't really have a preference. Just make a motion. Okay. I make a motion for red. Okay. Second. Got a motion on the table for the red sign and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Now, next item, workshop uh, workshop <laughs> Workshop discussion on summer programming. As I mentioned before, um, one of the things that I want to make sure that the board understands, uh, the city's not coming to you telling you what we're going to do. What we would love to hear some feedback, what you would like for uh, programming to happen in Parks and Rec. Now again, uh, outside of opening up the Navasota Center rentals, those type things, the, the swimming pool, uh, we have parks, uh, we have our uh, leagues that participate in those. Uh, one of the things that uh, we are, are, are looking at doing is right now we're partnering with uh, the school district on tennis, uh, so we, we've got some of that, but this is strictly for some summer programming uh, that we'd like to talk about and then any programming you would like to see moving forward just some ideas and, and not don't worry about budget I just want some ideas and that way we can start thinking about ways to to make that come to fruition and trying to put some budget to those ideas so um, I'm gonna let Eric talk some too because we do have some summer programming that he's already um, got uh, in the books here that we want to talk about real quick. The nature camp? Yeah. Yeah. So on the back of this other item, um, the librarian has the, um, she, she searched up, I guess, camps and everything, so she's the one kind of running it. I'm just providing the facility and helping her out. Um, and she would have a whole schedule of Monday to Friday, and it's going to be from 9 to 11. That is something we're doing this year on June 11th through the 15th. And then also on June 2nd, the, the watercolor class has agreed to do a free class for anyone. Flyer says July. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, July. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. And the flyer for the watercolor class is attached at the end of the packet. So 
at this time, I'd just love to brainstorm with you. Any, you can ask any questions, throw out any ideas, and staff will just start taking some notes here. <clears throat> Jump right in. Um, this actually kind of uh, has been in the works for a while, but it's been waiting on two projects to be completely finished. Um, once we do get the signage and everything out at the disc golf course, we'll be throwing tournaments. Um, there will be quite a few charity tournaments. Uh, the scouts are supposed to be moving into that old pro shop. Uh, first on the agenda for the uh, north side chain gang out of Houston, they're going to come down and help put on a, a very nice big tournament to fundraise to get that building back in order and to help the scouts. Uh, also, we'll, we'll get to that too, the skate park expansion. Um, once we get all that figured out, I'll have weekly clinics and a contest and demonstrations up there too. So those are the only two that I really have in the works, but they're, we're waiting on those two projects to be finalized. But I've talked to a lot of people in both of those fields that are really excited about coming down and helping us bring a lot of people to the area from out of town to use those facilities. I don't have anything. I think it would be good to, to kind of maybe um, look at some options and maybe see what other towns are doing our size and maybe bring that back to the board. Mm -hmm. Maybe present it to, to Eric. Yeah, the only reason I had anything because I've been working on it for a while. Right. <laughs> this right. is all kind of new to us to know that, hey, well, now we've got somebody to work with right. to right. come up with things. So, right. so that'd be a good idea. So um, if you want to, uh, you know, take a month and maybe come back next month, meet again, and in that meantime you can do some soul searching and researching and reaching out. Um, one of the things that I, I would love to be able to, uh, at least personally for me, is I, I like the, I don't have a daughter, but uh, you know, the daughter-daddy dance yeah. uh, during February would be great at, at the Navasota Center. I think that'd be a, a great uh, a kids event. Um, you know, one of the things that we just recently did and we've partnered with uh, the scout camp that's out uh, on highways off Highway 6 is it's um, it's archery um, skeet shoot archery mm -hmm. uh, so that that'd be a, but that's you know that's just maybe one day a month type thing because uh, parents would have to pay for it because there is a fee uh, for us to get them to come out and put that out it was fun I enjoyed it I didn't think I would but it was, I think it's pretty you know it's pretty fun um, and, but there probably need to be an age group because it you get too small kids. They're just they're not going to feel very comfortable trying to pull the, the bow back. Uh, but as you get a little bit older, up uh, into the teenage, I think it'd be something pretty cool to go out there. And it's 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 hard, but it's fun. That's why I'm saying half day or day, uh, maybe a morning, because it was really hot when we went out there. So I think that'd be something uh, we could look at definitely, because we're even going to look at it as a team building exercise. Um, you know, any other type of events? Uh, I know that um, we looked at doing um, a cornhole uh, event here, so it might be something to, to look into. Uh, aerobics, dance. Yeah. Yoga. I'm, you're wanting to say something? <laughs> I'm thinking, like, um, I like the idea of, like, you know, Cornhole tournaments and things like that, but I would suggest that we might host those at some of our parks instead of here down. Yes, down. yeah. So that's so yes. Yeah, so that the, all the stuff I'm specifically saying is stuff going to be at a park. Okay. Yeah. So um, we I actually consider Navasota Center as a park. Yeah. It's a park there, mm -hmm. but definitely uh, in that area there, I, I think the area back behind the pool would be a great cornhole yeah. location. Um, so those type things. And of course, once we get the pool back up and going, swim lessons and swim lessons, uh, water aerobics, and maybe some themed pool nights, family pool nights. You know, mm -hmm. have a uh, the 
the projector screen with a movie or mm -hmm. I know that they um, we do we, we go to some things like that in uh, College Station quite frequently. Um, anything that has water because it's so hot yeah. <laughs> would be great. Okay. You know, to have something maybe for Father's Day or maybe something to think about back mm -hmm. to school. Yeah, back to school. Kind of things. Mm -hmm. Fishing. Mm -hmm. We could do some arts and crafts stuff, you know, maybe something like Home Depot used to do. I don't think they do that anymore, but. Build a little birdhouse or something. Yeah, something. Okay. Well, didn't want to do a long conversation, but just, just wanted to get some feedback. Uh, it's something, like I said, council's doing. So anything anything we do there, uh, would either we would either have to contract it out or need volunteers. Uh, and depending on when it's done, you know, some staff could help, but mo most of it is going to be bringing somebody in to teach the class, and 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 so they're, they're the city could subsidize, they could pay 100% of it, but there might be some things like the archery. There's no way we probably could take on a full cost of that. There'd need to be some, and that way, we know that though know, you pay a fee, then we know you're going to be there uh, because uh, we don't want to be on the hook for that and no one show up. So, okay. Eric, anything else on this agenda item? We were also speaking with the um, artists and residents and other local artists as well to do kind of like some painting with the twist kind of thing at the Navasota Center, maybe uh, as a summer program as well. So we're trying to see how the watercolor class goes, and then if people want more art classes, we'll probably try to get more incorporated throughout the months. Yes. And it's, uh, just FYI, so as we're talking about parks, uh, we are in the process of looking for wayfinding signage. Mm -hmm. So wayfinding signage uh, is uh, one of our allowable costs that we can do for hotel motel funds. And so we are looking at doing on Highway 6 and on the main thoroughfares, and then once you get closer to uh, an event center, whether it's da pointing downtown, pointing to the Harlock House, pointing to August Horse, point pointing to uh, the Navasota Center, uh, we will be getting some signage that will do that, so definitely. And if you've been out to uh, August Horse, uh, the sign, there is a, Grimes County does have an annex back there in the back, just FYI. Yeah. So. <laughs> no other things, we'll go on to uh, the next item where uh, we've got a, um, so, so you know, Eric is uh, not only our code enforcement officer. Um, earlier this year, seeing the need that we needed to do some type of uh, parks and rec starting up, uh, some events and stuff, um, I assigned. Uh, he uh, graciously um, volunteered, <laughs> <got> uh, uh, <laughs> suggested volunteered, <laughs> as to be a parks and rec specialist uh, on top of his other duties here. So. Um, um, He's got a report that he wants to talk about, and I'll chime in when you need me, Eric. Uh, so, as I may know, as I may know, the city has been working with um, legal counsel and the Navasota ISD um, in regards to expand the skate park. And Mr. Jason mentioned that they have signed the deed today, right? Correct. We we got it surveyed uh, related to the expansion of so the skate park. Uh, they want to expand it and they never had turned the property over into our name already so since we did the survey with the expanded they just put it all under one uh, survey and so uh, they completed that uh, last Friday and delivered it to uh, superintendent today and so hopefully by next week we'll get that and then we'll our legal counsel move forward with filing a deed and everything for it and then uh, we are we are also working with the school in regards of their tennis courts to be used by the public. Um, we will be doing the marketing for them, and they'll be handling the, I guess, the key rental. They're doing a key rental for $15, I believe, and they have some rules and regulations regarding the tennis courts. So those will be open to the public starting this weekend. Uh, I think it's next. It's the 28th, isn't it? So the school actually has um, a tennis tournament happening on June 31st through 
the, sorry, May 30, 31st through June 2nd. So I feel like we shouldn't open it until Right, I think we're, I think that is, we need to, we're going to open it after that tournament. Yeah. Um, and that way we're not rushed to try to get a bunch of stuff at the very last minute, but we will start publicizing it. They said they can officially open it from May 28th, but I mean, right. a few yeah, days. That's right. And so, so with that, um, one of the things that m with me being hired, council said, hey, we want to collaborate with the school and the school said, hey, we want to collaborate with the city. Uh, so this is one of those efforts where they have the asset. Uh, they don't really have a true, I guess, marketing um, thing. Uh, so we're looking at us and then we're going to work together through the operation side of it, trying to figure out how to best do that, have our officers drive by a little bit more frequently. Um, and then uh, like he, like. Eric was saying we're going to they're going to do a key rental so you you I mean it's the only way trying to figure out how to deter someone going out there and tearing up that it's very expensive if you've been out there go out there it's 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 amazing it's just it, it is really nice it, it you don't find a high school or in our district that that's any better than that it's just awesome and so they just don't want anybody going out there and tearing it up and going out there and like August horse out there at our tennis court they shoot fireworks so uh, when you go out there and you'll see the the burnt stuff so we don't want that happening out there so with that trying to control who goes in there because this is going to be an amenity that we're going to offer there are not a lot of people that play tennis but now that they uh, that we have that amenity they'll be able to do that and try to deter anything from happening that shouldn't happen out there Rebecca will be very happy about that one yeah yeah, that was her idea. And then we're also, um, I guess, later on in the future to see how how many people are participating in the tennis courts or how many people are using them. We want to do like tournaments as well, like you mentioned for the disc golf, kind of have like tournaments here and there. Do a league tennis. or whatever yeah. they do. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Mm -hmm. Put a lot of them in college station. All right. And and since we're talking about the disc golf course uh, signage, so um, I appreciate all the work you've done got a little bit more work to do so I'm gonna get uh, after the meeting if you get with Bobby Bobby can get your contact information sure. uh, we need to kind of work some more on it uh, great idea and everything but let's just tweak it a little bit better um, and then uh, move forward with trying to get that signage out there uh, we, we don't mind bringing back to the board the final look of the signage if you want us to um, it, it's up to the board We'd love to be able to hear some feedback. Um, so I did I did attach the the map where the holes and the uh, numbers will be. Is that is this going to be the the main map that we're going to have? Well, it, that's it'll look more the computer generated. That's just the picture, and that's what's on um, online for people to be able to follow it around. The actual map. Um, will be more of the computer generated like that where it'll it won't look just like a picture right over the view picture of that picture of the so you, my understanding was uh, when you go up to the when you first come up to the course you're going to have one big map yes and it's got a QR code that you can scan it so you can pull it up and every, and everybody when they're try when they're playing they would have it uh, there's yeah I mean you can it's it'll be right on there uh, most people just take a picture of them. There's also a, um, a app that most everyone that plays disc golf now that, that uses is called UDisc. Okay. So it has most of the information on it. Okay. This is, just, this, is ma this is mainly where to just go to show you where the next hole is. Okay. Okay. Uh, no but like I said, it'll look more like this. It won't just be a, a aerial shot. The, the map itself will be done an aerial shot, but more along these lines that will right. have... Um, so, so my question is, you're going to have 18 of those small, oh, those signs. These little ones, yes. And then you're going to have one of those? One. Okay, just we'll make sure that that was correct, because that's the way I thought and the way I've communicated to staff. Right. That, that brick building there, uh, if you look at it, the old rock building, there's a window right in the middle that has a wood frame, and the map was to be attached to that wood frame, so it won't be attached to the actual building okay. uh, itself, so there won't be any damage done to that and reinforced from the inside. Okay. Uh, that's what we had decided to do to not take away from any of that okay. historical building there. Okay. Uh, and if for any reason it ever has to be removed, it won't do any damage. Okay. Yeah. So if you can just work with Bobby, so we can get the final, sure. uh, final look of it and everything, because oh, uh, that way we can get a really crisp, 
logo also from the Lions Cup as well as uh, right. Like one I said, this was this was just done as a sample. Right. Uh, and I've already and I spoke with her again today. Uh, there's a quote for this, and um, until we got at least kind of an idea if this was going to be approved or not, she didn't want to go through and do all the I, work I, on it, and then did not come through. I anything. totally agree, because we, because we again, because um, that quote came in over thirty thousand, didn't it? No, this is enough. No, it's not. Not even close. It's eleven hundred and thirty. Okay. The the entire um, okay, no problem. That had gotten um, approved before or whatever, but the signs being completely done. This is just for the artwork. Once this gets approved, this, <coughs> then it will go to. I'm going to take it to Creative Signs down there to actually have them printed on that. Oh, okay. The whole. Okay, that that, that okay that, that explains. Just a lot. for the artwork. Okay. Okay. Uh, this isn't completed signage. Okay. Um, they actually will have to still be printed on. The, the metal and the poles will have to be bought. I'll donate my time like I did to put the baskets in so that won't cost the city anything. I'll actually go physically put them in the ground. Right. Um, so there won't be any cost involved in that. I would, with this quote and materials that we would need to get them printed, I would say the whole thing would be less than two grand. Okay. Okay. No problem. And I think that uh, David that was here, I think he had asked for 2500 or something before. Correct. Yeah, That's that was my understanding. It should be, it should be less than that. Okay. Right. He was shooting pretty high on that one. Okay. DJ. Yes, sir. The yellow dots or the baskets? Uh, the yellow dots, I believe. Let me see here. Uh, yes. And yes. the boxes are the T. The what? Yes, the white boxes are the are the T boxes. The, okay. Yes. And the the signage will be at uh, the T boxes. Right now, there's T posts in the ground that have numbers on them. Um, works okay, but when you come up and that was another thing. Um, that can still be done to offset the cost. Um, and what one person, one business member or uh, owner in town has actually uh, bought a T sign to have his logo put on it because that's how it was advertised um, when we did the grand opening um, in this area here to offset the cost. We we're yeah. doing it for 100 bucks a piece. Uh, I think uh, Grill Sergeant gave 150. So he's already given the money to the city. Okay. And he wanted hole number one. So if we went out and did a little legwork and said, "Hey, your your company here," that's how most of the courses are done. Uh, it'll be you know, the city logo, Lions Club logo, and whatever. All right. Can, uh, can you work with? Can uh, sure. you Work with with Bobby yeah, on that. Yeah, I'm just trying to kind of fill everyone in on, but yeah, okay. no problem. Not at all. Yeah, we can do that. Um, I had a question. Yes. Do, have you all already planned out um, what you're printing the signs on? Like, what type of material is it going to be on, on metal? Is it? They're u they're usually on metal signs, like kind of like your your uh, handicap signs and okay. that kind of stuff. It'll be on. So we just don't have any quotes for that yet. No, because I didn't get any farther than this. Once we were right in the middle of this, parks board was gone. Right. Jason was gone. I wasn't here yet, so we're I mean, we're getting. Um, like as a suggestion, um, we could cut on the cost of this design quote because I can do the designs. So I mean we could save that cost as an idea if that's something you would like to do. Um, if that's something we could offset and put towards the actual implementation of the signs and the materials itself to do that. Just a thought. Yeah, if you can do it, that's I'll, I'll be more yeah, than happy to work with uh, you. If, I don't know if you've been on social media, but yeah, if, if yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Definitely. You're the, you're the first person besides the person I know that, that right. they could do it. Right. <laughs> Other than my brother who's swamped. So, but yeah, we can definitely work together on something so, like that. Uh, so my question on that, so do you have a photo? I don't I got a photo. Yeah. I do want to add in um, for the like dog signs and the rules. I did talk to um, Real Creative and they said like the aluminum metal would be like $35 and they, yeah. don't, they don't charge for the artwork. Right? Right. That's like I said. That's what, what I was going to do is <coughs> get this artwork done, transform to those metals. So that's why I knew that there was going to be less than so, two grand. But so yeah, will, we can offset that. Will this change on every yes. sign? Yes. All right. So do you have? You're going to place the trees in different places. You'll the the this is a very simple shot. So you'll have a a shot um, arrow, basically what this dotted line is. Okay. It shows you how the the whole turns. Okay. If you're looking at it, this would be straight. And so you, the the person that designed this would have to go in there and and so you don't have anything. No, it's okay, it, so no. This is, there's not a temp, There's no template on, on what this okay, is. No problem. The okay. trees move. There's water on some holes. There's and um, and the, the the par. You have that information. Yes, I have all. And that. you have the number of feet. 
Yes. Okay, so you can give that to That's her. That's actually on this map. Uh, well, okay. I have it on my phone. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. Okay. All, yeah. That, all that, all the legwork's done on that part of it. It's just the uh, changing it from an aerial view to this. Okay, awesome. We we can. Cool. Yeah. She says she can do it. She can do it. I believe you. <laughs> I'm all for it. Now, just FYI, we'll, there'll be a timeline on it. So <laughs> just, right. yeah. Just FYI, I can't put any more pressure on, on no, the I get workload. It. But yeah, we, definitely we can work on that uh, and get them going. Because uh, once we create the layout, then you just got to design the each of the 18. And the map. Yeah. Yeah, and the map. Okay. Good deal. And like I said, if we if we've got, if it's going to be a week or two or whatever else, then I can go forward and see if we can't still sell some advertisements to put on them. So would you do you want to go out and try to try to get those? And I've already gotten people that are willing to do it. Hey, if, if you can I, get that, that starting be, point, and it was like, okay. if the if the board wants to go out and, and try to do that, then I'm sorry, I didn't get. We need 17 you're, you're more 17 more 17 more holes to sell. Was it a hundred dollars? Mm -hmm. That'll pay for the materials, yeah. Yeah. If we can get it done for free, I'm all for it. Right. Okay. It was just, like I said, we've gotten to a point of, hey, we got to do something. So. Yeah. But social media and, and just our networking that we've got, I think, pretty fast that 17 of them will fill up. So I want to clarify, it's $100 to put the business on there, except for the city and the... Lions the, the Lions Club. They'll, they'll automatically have their logo on every one. Yeah, it'll be in this area. Or however, if she's got yeah. a better if she's got a better look than this, I'm cool with that too. I mean, if she's creative enough to do it, we, I'm all for it. This would, like I said, this was just a sample. Okay. It's, it's a forever, right? There yes. A yes, it's a forever. It. So it generally want a business that's forever business. Huh? They're all forever. They're all forever businesses. <laughs> Yeah. On the tax roll, they are. Yeah. <laughs> Eric, do you have anything else? I don't have any other items. This time, you can adjourn the meeting unless you have any other discussion. Uh, I do have uh, on the skate park. You said that would finalize with a deed in the next couple of weeks? Uh, correct, yeah. And so then we're the city's responsible for uh, re. Um, uh, aligning the fence and right. so uh, that's one of the things we'll have to get up is, is get with the um, hopefully JW fence will give us a good deal since we're going to do this right. um, and hopefully uh, use as much of the fence that we have out there just put new poles down and that'll be expense on the city side yeah. so that's 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 the expense of the city is the for the survey I think it was two thousand over two thousand dollars and then put the lay down the new fence the reason I ask because uh, I've already secured uh, quite a bit of the funding for the project, um, so I was just kind of wanting to know a timeline so I can get with the actual company companies because I'm sure, like I so said, we have to have a few different quotes uh, to that. That way, I can present it to the next meeting. I just want to have all my ducks in a row, but okay, before we no have problem. the next meeting, yeah. So um, I'll, I'll reach out to Dr. Music tomorrow to see what we can get, and then I'll probably a couple weeks. Something. Yeah, like I would. I would think so. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no, I don't. I covered all my bases. I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Adjourned at 648. Thank you all.